Hello and greetings to the wonderful congregation of Logan City Christian Church. Uh, today I'm just bringing some updates as to uh, where we are at uh, with this COVID-19 lockdown restrictions, uh, an update as to when we can recommence church and what it's going to look like when we come back to church uh, to give a bit of a feel and, and you know what we can expect when we return. And so as it sits today, the 26th of June uh, to Friday today, uh, everything seems to be uh, on track as to what they have said and for us to expect that we can return uh, to church from the 12th of July, uh, 2020. But there are going to be some changes, understandably. Uh, we uh, will have to uh, engage the four square meter rule. And according to uh, the size of this auditorium, we know that there are uh, things that we have to implement, such as the size of the congregation, the people attending. And so therefore, uh, the services can't exceed 100 people. And so this is what we are intending to do. And so we're going to have two morning services, one at 8.30 a.m. and it'll continue to uh, 9.15 a.m., uh, a shorter service, uh, but don't worry, it's still going to be uh, a very powerful service nonetheless. The second service will start at 9.30 a.m. and finish around 11 uh, a.m. And again, they're going to be very powerful services. I am sure about that beyond any doubt. And so we do ask that if there are people that you would think that, look, uh, I really don't know which service to attend the 8.30 a.m., or the 9.30 a.m., uh, there seems to be more space, a more available place uh, for the earlier service at 8.30. So if you would like to uh, reschedule to the earlier one, do that and lock yourselves out. It'll, it's going to help us a bit at this present time because the second morning service is already filling up, if not already full. Uh, so your cooperation there would be great. Uh, so if you can just let us know in some way uh, which one you'll be attending, that would be fantastic. And so some of the uh, changes that we have, and they're only temporary changes, uh, they, they won't be in forever, just for a short period of time. One of them is, as required by government, uh, the COVID safe procedures. Uh, the first one is that they have asked houses of worship to refrain for now, just for now, uh, the partaking of communion. Now, I know in the Christian church that uh, assembling around the Lord's table is a very, very precious time for us all. But understandably, we, we can see that there is, you know, common sense involved here as well. And so this is something that we have chosen to follow through with because I believe it's good wisdom at the same time. They're not saying we can never do it again. They're just saying for now, they recommend for us to be wise and that's what we choose to do. The second thing that we will notice uh, coming back to church for a short period of time, that after the services, for now, there will be no tea, coffee and biscuits. Unfortunately, uh, it's going to, uh, you know, make it very easy for us to forget about the four square metre rule, social distancing and that sort of thing. So we don't want to do that as well. It has been advised uh, to houses of worship to um, possibly to rethink that after services with the tea, coffee and the fellowship. And so just for now, and it's only for a short period of time, that we feel it's right to, um, you know, listen to that advice. I think it's good advice because all in all, uh, we are here to make sure that your experience coming to church is a good one. And, you know, that's top priority for us, your health and uh, your well-being. And so obviously the four square, square metre rule uh, is going to apply. Uh, we don't know exactly for how long, but I don't believe it's going to be for that long. And so you'll notice that every second row uh, of seating will be removed and uh, it'll be placed out accordingly. So it's just gonna make it very easy for everybody to identify uh, that there are changes and also there are going to be uh, the sanitizers uh, those pump sanitizers uh, placed in various places with signage and it's going to be great. 
Uh, the other things that I'd like to mention here now, the things that we uh, are able to commence uh, effective from the 12th of July are simply these. Uh, we're going to, as I've mentioned, have two morning services from starting from the 12th of July, but Tuesday the 14th of July, we're going to see the recommencement of Bible school or the Bible college uh, and it'll be to the completion of second year. I believe there are only about three or four uh, lessons left and the second year students will uh, finish the second year and go on to graduate, which will be a great thing to do. Congratulations to second year students. And so uh, that starts at 6.30 p.m. on the 14th of July uh, which is a Tuesday evening, and so that's going to be great. We'll see on the 16th of July, which is a Thursday evening at 7 p.m., that the uh, prayer meetings will recommence, and Pastor Clark Taylor has um, uh, offered to uh, run those meetings again for us and to train us and teach us uh, in, in the ways of the Spirit in prayer, which are just amazing meetings. And those of you that have attended these already, you know what I'm speaking about. And so, again, we have up to 100 people that can uh, attend. So if you're going to come, make sure you're in early because we do have to, unfortunately, we do have to um, keep that limit, that four square meter rule. And uh, again, it's only for a short period of time. Everything will get back to normal soon, I am sure. Then we have on the 17th of July, will be the ladies meeting will recommence at church here at 10 a.m., which is a Friday, the 17th of July at 10 a.m. at the church. And ladies, you come together, uh, obviously, uh, you centralize around the word of God and food as usual, and uh, praise God, good on you. Why not? If I was a lady, I'd be there too. Praise the Lord. Also on the 17th of July uh, at 6.30 p.m. at the church, the youth group recommences. And uh, I know many of you in the youth group are just hanging out so much to just get back together and do what you do. And it's going to be a great time. I'm very confident about that. And also uh, starting from the Saturday, the 18th of July, we have the men's breakfast, which resume uh, back at this uh, church, the same place at 13 Watland Street, Springwood. Um, men's breakfast starts at 7.45 a.m. Uh, we arrive at no later than 7.45 to commence at 8 p.m. And a uh, lovely breakfast, a real good hearty breakfast and uh, uh, someone that will be sharing the testimony. Uh, it's going to be a great time. And so these are the things that we... Uh, we'll uh, be expecting what it's going to look like when we come back to church. Uh, like I said, there won't be a lot of great changes, but a few minor things that we uh, just need to navigate through, uh, just so that we do comply with the COVID safety procedures. But more so, it's not so much about uh, pr complying to it. This is about your safety, about your health, about your well-being, which is top priority for us at Logan City Christian Church. And so today, I just want to say, you know, the countdown's on, the clock's ticking, the days are being struck out one by one, and I don't know exactly how many more sleeps until we can come back together again, but let me say, it is going to be a good experience, and uh, we're going to really enjoy each other's fellowship. Uh, plenty of elbow taps, praise the Lord, but only for a short period of time, and then we'll be back to how things were from the beginning. And so... Please uh, be encouraged by this. Uh, and again, let me just re-say re re this again, that it's only for a short period of time. It's not going to be forever. It will be soon enough before we'll be able to go back to how things were. But for now, uh, let us really embrace the moment and enjoy uh, each other's company when we meet and recommence on the 12th of July. And um, yeah, it's going to be a wonderful thing. We've missed you all greatly. And I uh, really love and appreciate you very much. And God is good. He always, always finds a way for us to get back together. And we're going to enjoy that greatly. So God bless you and have a great day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.